Hey everyone, Charmaine here with a not so paper craft tutorial. So I actually wanted to do a paper clay tutorial. As you can see on screen, I actually gave it a go and did a couple of trials with different paper clay recipes, but it didn't turn out quite as I expected it to be. So basically that experiment was a bust and I couldn't share the tutorial for that at all. So this is how it turned out. I have a difficulty prying it off the glass, but that's this is how it turned out. Rather than being miffed about it, it did give me a really nice kind of texture. I just instead reached for the air dry clay, which arrived last week as well. So I made these delicate looking dainty trinket trays from the air dry clay i'll put the link down below so you can see what brand that i used in this video i painted them white and rose gold and i also added some gold details on the flower imprints i think they came out really nice and this tutorial has just become 100% easier because the clay is actually store-bought. So before we jump into the full instructions, let me invite you to click subscribe, turn on notifications, and give this video a like. For this project, I used Jovi Air Dry Clay. I got it from Shopee. This was sponsored by my dad. He told me to give him a shout out. He's on Instagram and takes amazing architecture photos. So this one that I'm actually showing you is leftover clay from the previous packet which I used to create the ones that you can already see on the screen. This has already dried for 24 hours. It's much more sturdy. And this is dried flour that I used to imprint the details onto the trinket trays. This clay that I am using is actually left over from 24 hours before this video was taken. So it was a bit harder, but I did keep it in an airtight container. Basically, this was an experiment how long the clay will keep because according to the instructions online you can keep the clay in an airtight container if you're not yet going to use it but unfortunately even if it was in an airtight container it was a bit hard so i added some water and tried to knead it as smooth as possible and what happened was that the clay became chalky so i don't mind but excuse the mess that you see on screen so there were no other special instructions for air dry clay rather i just used it as i would a regular molding clay since i didn't want to soil uh, the rolling pin i just used the sides of this glass jar and since I wasn't going to be making a big item, this worked very well. So I'm using this coaster to get the size that I want and the sharp edge of this metal ruler to cut out the shape. Yes, you can use the cutter or any other type of material which is sharper that would make your life so much easier but i just wanted to work on my desk and i didn't want to deal with scratching the surface after running the ruler on the sides just take out the excess while i was doing this i realized i still had a flat surface that i could work with and i decided to use the mouth of the glass jar to create a round shape and use my shiny stamp to press in the text which says with love by Charmaine and it imprinted nicely. 
Then I just continued taking off the excess on the sides. Then I thought it would make a nice ornament or a tag, so I used in the tube of this old empty ballpoint pen to create a hole where I can run a twine later on. So now that I have my clay coaster, I just clean the sides. So as you can see, because I just used a blunt ruler or the sharp edge of a ruler and not a cutter, my edges aren't as clean. I think you would. I no, I'm sure you will get cleaner cuts if you use a blade or something a whole lot sharper. Now that we have our round shape for the trinket tray, we are going to impress this dried flower on it. So make sure to pick the right side with the most details. And all you have to do is just run your rolling pin over it. Try not to do what I just did. Basically, try to get it in one roll because going back and forth will ruin the imprint. So since I pressed on one side, I tried to press it on the other sides as well because from the circle it turned into an oval shape. But since I am not going for perfection on these trinket trays and I'm not averse to raw imperfect edges, this worked out totally fine for me. And since I was doing a tray, I'd wanted to have like that concave shape. So I looked for a glass where I could put the clay on and just press it down a bit so it can have that concave shape. And of course, this is the time to actually clean off any edges. I saw other tutorials running the sides with wet fingers so that you get smoother edges. You can do that as well. or like me you can just sand the edges later on so just wait for them to dry give them 24 hours and you'll have something like this the final output will be much more sturdy and look at these ones these are the tags that i made i imprinted on one side and imprinted stamps on the other and they're kind of fun so now when they're finally dry, you can add on color to them. Some people add color to these while kneading, but I chose to paint in the details afterwards. So before proceeding with painting the trinket trays, I just sanded the sides just to smooth out the rough edges. I did this for all the plates. Then I laid them out on a covered surface and spray painted white from there. Once the bottom was dry, I just flipped it onto the other side so I could paint this side as well. could skip this part and just go on with the gold details as well, but I just wanted to spray paint it anyway so I get a more even surface and it, I think it'll be more sturdy this way. So I left it out to dry, then I took them off, and then I left a couple of plates on the covered surface, and I just spray painted the rose gold as well. And when they got dry, it was time to paint in the details. So basically, I just painted on the plant details, and I used gold animal paint to do that. So this one is a bit of a tedious task, but it's quite easy anyway because all you're doing is just trying to fill in the details or the imprints on the trinket tray. Just be careful. Make sure not to put too much paint because it could pull and just generally cover up the details. So I did this detail work for all the plates. Apart from just following the imprints, I also tried putting on a gold trimming around one of the trinket trays. So 
It was a bit messy. I did it for the small one, but then decided not to do it for the rest. Then I also added in some gold details on the rose gold plates. It doesn't quite show on camera, but actually when you see it in real life, you can tell the gold and the rose gold apart. Anyway, as you can see on the screen, this is my super failed paper clay. But I didn't want to put it to waste, so I just decided to make a trinket tray out of it anyway without prying it from the plastic plate which I used. And instead, I just painted it over with gold enamel paint. When you are satisfied with the details, I left mine out in the sun to dry. And that's how I made these air dried trinket trays. So I hope you enjoyed this video, even if it actually was in the paper craft tutorial of sorts. But anyway, I hope to see you again in my next video. Thank you for making it through till the end. And if you do actually get to make this tutorial or any other of my paper craft tutorials on YouTube, don't forget to tag me on Instagram. My handle there is at chassis if you are not yet part of that community hop on over to instagram and join me there so i hope you enjoy the rest of your week stay safe keep well i'll see you in the next one bye